Welcome everyone to Torino, Italy. Welcome live into the Palavela Arena, our home for the next three days of competition. The Senior Pair Short Program coming up in just a few moments. Look at the focus. There's the twist, great split, good lift, good distance, hands go down. Beautiful program, powerful and dynamic, wonderful technical elements. 77.65, what a great score, that's season's best. Now the pressure goes on to the world silver medalists. It's difficult to explain with this team, but they always bring just a little spice of magic to their performance. It's beautiful. And it's a 78.08, they take the lead. The final event of the day, the men's short program. Soda Yamamoto. There he is. Really a wonderful skater. Constant acceleration on every edge. Well, this is one very intense and powerful competitor. He takes high risk because he has high speed. Shoma Uno, the world champion. You see an artist at work and an athlete as well. A season's best at 99.99. He takes over the lead. Welcome back everyone to Torino, Italy. In the second day of the Grand Prix Final. Sarah Conti and Niccolo Amaki. Great skate here in front of a hometown audience. The excitement and the kiss and cry, wow. Well, these are seasoned veterans. Oh, a beautiful throw, triple loop. Alexa Kinnerim and Brandon Fraser, world champions for the last season. Were well, the leaders after the short program. Oh, hung on. So difficult. 136.50, that's first in the free program. Wow. Close, but it's first. Well, this, the rhythm dance, is perhaps the most hotly contested in the Grand Prix Final. All the teams are absolutely excellent. From Italy, Charlene Gennard and Marco Fabri. Great energy throughout. Really good GOE scores for the quality. From Canada, Piper Gillies, Paul Poirier. What a beautiful performance with such energy and detail, quality. <laughs> Top notch performance by Kaori Sakamoto of Japan. Had the short program scores, season's best 75.86, and that will put Kaori currently into first place. What a great show program by Lona Hendricks of Belgium. Great energy. Delicate and yet powerful. Season best, 74.58. That's second in the short program. We will begin the final day of competition here in Torino with the senior men's free program. Well, here is Ilya Melinin. Quad Salco, four quads. So determined to redeem himself from the short. Look at the height. Unbelievable. Technically, you can't get much better than that. And it's a 191.84. Straight, high, and strong. This is a wonderful performance, and you can see there the fist pump on the landing of the triple lutz. Well, the world champion has some tough skating to beat here. There it is, 204.47. That is a personal best, and of course, the season's best as well. The Shoma Uno, first in the free, first overall, amazing. Well, the favorites in the hearts of the crowd, no question. From Italy, 
Charlene Gennard and Marco Fabri. Wonderful skating skills and a very, very passionate performance. Well, the well-known team has provided so many beautiful moments in Ice Dance, Madison Chalk, Evan Bates. Well, how interesting is this event because every team comes with something completely different. The final team in the senior dance, Piper Gillies, Paul Poirier. This is a beautiful piece, and again, completely different from everything you have seen so far. So emotionally charged, but the transitions from every element, technical, it was seamless. 129.71, that's first in the free dance. Total competition score, 215.64, what a great day. Welcome back everyone for the final event here, the Women's Free Program. With just 15 years old, Isabel Levito from the US. This skater has so many wonderful qualities, terrific flexibility. For the current world silver medalist, Lona Hendricks from Belgium. Such a dramatic performer and has really nice jumping and spinning skills. Mai Mihara from Japan. Well, a solid performance by Mai Mihara of Japan. 133.59, that's first in the free program, of course. Winning the title here with a 208.17.